All right, so we're really going to get into the meat of it here. We're going to do some binomial probability formula examples using this formula here that we already know about. Um, now, let's come up with a scenario. There's a, a tree, and there's a bird in the tree. That's a bird. Okay, that's a bird. Okay, there's a bird in the tree. Every day I walk under the tree, and every day there is a chance that I will get the bird will poop on my head. Okay. Now, the probability that the bird poops on my head is um, probability equals 0 0.3. Now, you'll notice I've written P. So, in this scenario, we're assuming that success is getting my head pooped on. Okay, so now that we've got this scenario in our heads, I'm going to walk under the tree for a week, seven days, and I wonder what the probability is that I get poop on my head exactly two times. So there's the question, if I walk under the tree seven days, what is the probability I get pooped on exactly twice? And now we can just jump straight into sort of working with our formula. All right, there's our formula. Now we just need to put some numbers into it. There's seven trials. Uh, I get pooped on exactly twice. The probability of success getting pooped on is 0 0.3. There are two successes, um, one minus p. I'm not going to bother writing in one minus p, and you shouldn't either. You should just jump straight to, well, 0 0.3 is that, so one minus 0 0.3 is 0 0.7, which is the q value, the probability of failure, and then n minus r. Well, I've got uh, 7 minus 2 uh, trials successes then, 7 minus 2, which is 5. Um, we can put that straight into our calculator and we can get an answer. All right, so you should be able to put that into your calculator as NCR and get um, 21 times 0 0.3 squared. Now that bit's uh, 0 0.09, and then 0 0.7 to the power of 7 minus 2, which is 5, is 0 0.16807. Now technically, you probably don't need to write this line. You could probably just type the whole thing into your calculator, but I'm just showing you that there's three elements multiplied by each other. So my answer is 0 0.3177. That's a good answer, and it's a probability. Or you can write it as a percentage, 31.77%. Uh, now what does that mean? If I walk under this tree seven times, there is a 31.77% chance that I'll get pooped on exactly twice. Um, now, if I walk under that tree every day for 52 weeks, that means that approximately one-third of those weeks, um, whatever one-third of 52 is, I'll get pooped on exactly twice. Now, I can run through 100 examples that are exactly like this, but that's it. So, like, I could change the probability uh, to 0.5, let's say, and I could say if I walk under the tree uh, nine days, what is the probability that I get pooped on exactly three times? Okay, well, if the question was that, then we just replace all of our numbers. So, and it doesn't need to be a tree. It could be what's the probability in this case uh, 0.5, it's like a it's like a dice, right? So it's sorry, it's like a, a coin. So uh, nine coin flips, three successes. So let's do that. That should be nine, and that should be three, and this should be zero point five, and this should be three, and this should be nine, and that should be three, and this should be also zero point five. And I can put that into my calculator and get a different answer. So if I flip the coin nine times, there is a uh, 0.1641 chance, or there is a 16.41% chance that I'll get exactly three heads, or three tails, depending on which one you thought success was. Um, okay, that's binomial probability example. I want to go through another one um, where we do something called a cumulative distribution. But that's pretty close to being everything you need to know about binomial distribution.